Hi guys, Messi Coda here. Welcome to another Ultimate Survival Unity tutorial. And in this video, I'll be integrating Ultimate Survival with Unistore. That's right, you've been asking for it and waiting for it. So here it is, how to integrate Ultimate Survival and Unistore. So get your umbrellas and I'll see you in a second. I'm inside Unity and I've imported both Ultimate Survival and I've imported Unistorm. And I want to quickly just edit the time of day script that you get with Ultimate Survival. So if you just search here for time of day, you'll see this time of day script and let's just open him up inside our editor. Right now we're inside time of day script. Let's go down here, end of all of these declarations. Just above the void awake, I want to stick in show you what I'm going to stick in. I'm going to stick in a new public variable and we're going to put in a start method. We're going to say here public unistorm weather system underscore C. We're going to call our variable unistorm system. Put in here equals null at the start just to make sure that it's empty. Um, and here in my start I'm saying if it's um, not, if you don't have a value in here, then find it automatically. We're going to find object of type, whatever we've got in our scene that's got a Unistorm weather system component attached to it. Just as an extra bit of error handling, just in case we forget to put in drag and drop our game object into our public variable. This does work, but I don't know if you're supposed to go if does not equal null, seeing as null is the default value, that would also work. But this, this does seem to work. It does work, trust me. I don't know, don't know if it's right or not. And then down here, we're going to find um, this M show GUI. And where is it? Here we've got the stop time. So we're getting the stop time from the GUI. If we go Unistorm system and then time stopped. Thank you very much for knowing what I wanted to do. Equals M underscore stop time. So we tick our little tick box um, in the GUI and then we sort the time from Unistorm and then you um, from Ultimate Survival rather and Ultimate Survival then tells Unistorm hey time stops. We could do it the other way as well we could actually say um, if Unistorm is the one and then set it that way but yeah, I'm doing it this way. Whichever way you want to do do it makes you happy go ahead and do it. You don't even need this at all if you're using the one that's in Unistorm but I'm just mucking about so there you go. And then down here, normalize time equals, and we say Unistorm weather system or Unistorm system start time. Start time, that start time. There you go, start time. And everything else down here we don't need. Let's just comment it out instead of deleting it. Oops. And down here. To the skybox. Why is it not happy? What did I, what mistake did I stick up here? Oh, I'll tell you what else I've done wrong. Ampus Ampus. And we're gonna say, like we did before, um, Unistorm system. So we check up here we said if it doesn't have anything, then find something automatically and shove it in there. Just in case something goes horrendously wrong, we don't have a component with this script, well a game object with this component that is a script attached to it just in case those two things happen then we won't do this because if you try to do this and it doesn't exist then we're going to kick up an error or maybe for some reason the update starts kicking in before the start or i don't know something crazy this is just an extra bit of error handling and you could do um does not equal null as well but this seems to work without needing that but that also works because that was the default value we gave it. So I don't know. It, it seems to work. So, so there you go. And that's about it for this. Now we're back inside Unity. Let's change this and look for the player sleep handler. And we'll edit this file now. Well, we need to find enable stuff force. Here it is. And underneath that, let's put in a couple of variables starting day length and that's our unistorm day length and starting night length and that is our unistorm system night length now we want to go down to here time of day instance normalized time time delta 
times speed. We want to set in our day length and night length. Lovely. Now go down to where we find enable stuff is true and put in these day length and night length back to the starting day length and starting night length. Okay, save that. And that is it. That is all we've needed to edit. Now we're back inside Unity. Let's actually import properly Unistorm into our world. I click Windows, Unistorm. We'll add our Create Weather System, and I'm going to use Desktop. And here is our Unistorm. And here we don't need this player. Delete him. There we go. And now if we go to Window, Unistorm, back in, Auto Player Setup. Let's click it and find our player, drag him into player object. Make sure this is left at standard camera. Now we need the main camera. Make sure you get the world camera and not the FP camera. So it's in here, male player, look root, world camera root, and we drag in main camera. And make sure that ultimate survival, if you've got first person and you haven't got an integrated third person, you leave this set at first person. Click auto set up player, boom. Now you see all this extra stuff magically appears and on the world camera we've got an extra couple of scripts for sun shafts and another sun shaft script. Now we go to lighting and you see at the top here sunlight. Open up your weather system, find your light parent and then just drag in the sunlight here. See now it says sunlight light, that's this one. See these two in the time of day, grab them and turn them off. Otherwise you'll have Ultimate Survival Sun and Unistorm Sun living in the same world. And that'd just be weird. Two suns! Two suns coexisting peacefully together. Right now let's click on time of day. You see here we've got Unistorm system. There's nothing in there. We can now just drag in our Unistorm system and put them in there. If you don't, you'll automatically find it. But let's just do that for now. And that's a bit of fun. Don't worry about these. These are redundant now. You don't even need them anymore. And this stop time, this is what we're going to be controlling our Unistorm time. You can either control it from here or you control it from the GUI that's going to appear in the game once it starts. Now, obviously, in your own game, you're not going to want that in there. So you're going to turn this off and just control it from here. And they don't even really need to. You could, didn't need to add the extra bit of script that I did. You can control it all from Unistorm. But because this is integrated into Ultimate Survival, I figured we might as well have these two working together. Working together, hand in hand. And if I go Unistorm System Editor, uh, let's set the time to start in time to be around 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Down here, these I'm not going to go into too much detail about what these variables are, uh, mainly because I don't really understand them all. Day length hour and the day night length hour all they're basically saying is when does day and night start not when does the sunset and, and the and the moon rise but or the sunrise and the sunset and the moon rise and the moon set it's actually saying when should i start taking these values into account so if i say that daytime goes by in really like a blink of an age each hour goes by in half a second and if i say that night length goes by in a second at eight o'clock or oh, six o'clock in the evening time will start taking longer than it does from six o'clock in the morning okay time's quicker there but for the case of our demo we don't really care about that we'll just stick that in all right then let's click play let's click play and we'll see here time stopped what happens so console, keep an eye on the console, see if anything explodes. Nope, console's fine, lovely. Where's the sun? There's the sun, it's setting, it's late in the day. Okay, seven, it should stop at 18 hours, so that's six o'clock. Here we go, six o'clock, it's night time. Here's the moon, moon's coming up. It's going a bit too far, so let's pause time. Boom, and the moon stops in the sky. And down here, right hand, down here on the right hand side, we can see time stopped, it's ticked. If I untick that, that's not going to be unticked because I didn't do it both sides. See? It's like, no, you can't untick me because this is the one that counts. I can actually go to um, time of day here and untick. See? And bomb, it's back again. But that's just me mucking about. Let's go back here. So, let's untick 
and there's the moon. Midnight, lovely, it's midnight, let's get to six o'clock, and then it'll be daytime. So there you go, time flies when you're having fun, what do you think? That was quick. Let's have another quick play. I just want to see daytime again. Right, five o'clock, six o'clock, and here's sunrise. Hey everyone, time to get up. Birds are tweeting. So um yeah. Let's change the weather. So if I go to weather options, it's partly cloudy. Let's set it to thunderstorm storm or snowstorm winter. So let's go to time and let's set it to December or January, because we know it's safe. It, by early December it's still autumn technically whereas January you know and actually winter in which hemisphere that's another question you in the northern hemisphere you know it's it's all very interesting so wow okay that's a bit of a oh it's snowflakes falling down oh wow that is fantastic All right, let's um, let's change it to summer to have a nice summer rain. There we go. It's summer now, and we've got a nice summer storm going on. You're going to get wet, Mr. Chicken. Look at all these little splashes that are coming down. Lovely. All right, guys, that's it. This is based off a tutorial that was given to me back by Black Horizon Studios. I have modified it. I have extended it a bit. Um, I'm not too sure if I've broken anything by modifying and changing it, um, but I added a bit more functionality for the stop time and basically condensing it all down into one script rather than playing about with an additional one. However, if you do want to have the code that was provided to me by Black Horizon, I will provide a link to it down in the description below. So guys, if you do like these videos and you want to see more, Oh, the sun's coming out just as I'm talking. Please do click that big juicy subscribe button. Call all of your friends, your neighbours, random people on the street. Show them these videos. And remember, if you do like it, click it. Till next time. If you want to see more of my crazy videos, click on the left side of your screen now. And down below, there's that big juicy subscribe button. And right next to it is the magic bell. That If you click it, it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Till next time.